taking action and being present for the environment. I, my story is I'm grateful and thankful that I didn't lose anybody during last year's heat dome. I was visiting here in Victoria and then I went back to Alberta where I was living then. I now live in Victoria and so I'm looking forward to getting involved in activism here. When I went back to Alberta, I bore witness on one of those very hot days at a pig slaughterhouse. These pigs were on a truck, a metal truck with no ventilation at 40 degrees and some of them were already dead before they got into the slaughterhouse. They were the lucky ones. I just want to make mention that human beings are not the only animals that are suffering in this heat dome, in this climate crisis. Animal agriculture is one of the huge drivers of the climate crisis. It is, in terms of greenhouse gas emissions, it is right up there on level with the transportation industry. That is all cars, trucks, boats, ships, planes. It is huge and nobody is talking about it. It is the cow in the room. <laughs> the very easiest thing that each one of us can do, somebody here spoke earlier about personal responsibility, is that we can each adopt a plant-based, a fully plant-based diet. I'm vegan for the animal ethics. I've watched a lot of horrible situations in Canadian animal agriculture personally. Um, but if you change your, your what you eat for the climate, you will make a huge difference. It is easier now than ever. There are so many options everywhere we shop, everywhere we eat out. We can do it and we can take that extra step. The leaflets I gave out gave you are some documentaries. The first one is a climate documentary. The others are health. And uh, one is a documentary made a few years ago in Australia, which has the same food system as we do here. They have the same animal welfare laws. And you can see what we are doing to animals. And I'm, I'm appealing to you today but if you care about animals, we do live in a society who cares about animal welfare. Canada has some of the worst welfare, animal welfare regulations in the world. I implore you to look. I implore you to do the research um, and have a look. For, just for the record, beef and lamb are two of the foods with the biggest climate impact. And if you can start out by just reduce, removing those from your diet, you will have already made a huge difference. Thank you again, everybody, for taking some information, and thanks for being here. And I hope we can make this a better world for the action that's coming out for us.